I'm starting off on old straight hair. My hair has been straight for like a week, so it's kind of crusty, but I don't want to wash it out just yet. So of course, split your hair down the middle, and this right side I'm just putting it into a quick low bun so that you can see how a standard bun would look with my hair being in this state. And that's just to get out the way mostly. And on this side is where I would do the mega bun. Brush out my hair, make sure to get out the tangles. I'm using edge control as well as Eco Styler gel just to soften. Start by putting some Eco on my edges and brushing that through. I don't put any product or gel on my hair, like the crown of my hair or my ends because I don't want my hair to revert. In this style, I like how it looks when my hair is kind of fluffy and airy, so I don't want my curls to revert back. I kind of shake out my ponytail to give it some Fluff a little bit, twist the ends just slightly, gently place that around your hair tie. You'll see in the back I take the ends and tuck it on the under the bottom and place a hair tie around that. And you see it looks just like the other side basically. But now I gently pull on my hair without ripping it out of the hair tie just to give it some size. And the main aspect of this bun is pinning your hair to each other, so you will need bobby pins. You'll see I have this hole in the middle of my bun, and I place a bobby pin right through that so that I have a more uniform bun with no, no gaps in it. And then I take some of the fallen pieces and I pin it in the back of my hair just so you don't see the pins. And the only other aspect of this styling, you will play around with your hair, tuck on it gently and then pin it so that you give it more lift. Uh, my buns were pretty saggy so I did used quite a bit of pins just to keep my hair in place and I did pull my hair around to hide those bobby pins. You see I'm taking that side piece and pinning it to my scalp because I want my bun to sit up higher so I'm giving that sort of illusion with taking the middle of my bun and pinning it to my scalp. Making it more circular and less oval and saggy like. Then I just take more bobby pins, play around with it. I want the messy look, but also I want it to not fall and drop out. So here you see the regular bun, pretty small, can't really see it behind my ears, and here's the mega bun. Try to do my edges, I'm not very good at doing my edges, my hair doesn't like to stay in place, but you can try to, you know, get them baby hairs laid. Saggy boring bun versus beautiful mega bun. So now let's do the other side, get this together. Brush out your tangles. Put a little bit of eco styler on my edges and then I do the actual ponytail make sure it's even this is actually a very hard step <laughs> and I always pull it tight so that I get more length and hair to work with remember to twist mostly at the ends and keep the middle kind of fluffy and saggy 
wrap the ends around the hair tie and tuck it underneath just to give it some security. Use one extra hair tie to wrap that hair around. Now you see it's small, so you kind of got to build it up now. Tease it and pull it a little bit. See, I'm taking the side and pinning it to the top of my hair to give it more roundness and more lift. Pull it gently. I'm very gentle with this. The first side I had kind of sped up. But this side you can see just how slow I'm going. Then I pin in the middle of the bun. This is where I get most of my the width of my my mega bun. I am looking in a different mirror, so that's why I keep turning it to the side. Here I'm putting some of the bottom portion of my hair to my scalp. This part is saggy, so I'm putting a body pin in vertically. And I don't want to have too much hair falling out the bottom because I know it can all fall out if I don't pin it correctly. I'm taking this top piece to hide that bobby pin, pinning that to my scalp. So these aren't the type of buns you want someone to squeeze because <laughs> they're going to ruin your hair. Try to make sure it's even. And of course you can go back and tweak the other side to match if they're looking too uneven. It's kind of a random but purposeful positioning of the bobby pins. I shake my head to see what falls out and I pin that. It kind of could get frustrating. I kept having pieces fall. So now I'm finally happy with how they look. Pretty even, nice and round. So again, I attempt do my edges. Didn't quite work out. So now we're all done. Super cute. Mega buns. Nice whimsical look. Messy look but still a clean look. I hope you have good luck teasing and pulling and pinning your hair. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.